Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Annabelle and today I just kind of wanted to talk about manifesting, creating your life, your dream life, so to speak. So I didn't really have any background in manifesting or using the law of attraction or any of that kind of stuff up until part way through high school when I started when I watched the secret documentary for the first time and then after that I just kind of was like so drawn in um, and it's just absolutely amazing to see all the things that I've manifested and created knowing that me consciously choosing to think about certain things a certain way or visualize what I really wanted, um, that that clearly made all the difference. So as some of you guys know, I built this tiny house and that's kind of what um, my channel is known for, if you will. That tiny house didn't happen until I really started putting it out there and testing my idea, basically. At this point, I was six, seven, sixteen, and I just started journaling consistently, and there was something about these tiny houses that drew me in, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. And so then I was looking through Pinterest, I watched YouTube videos, I watched so many videos, I pinned so many tiny house things, I talked to my family nonstop about this tiny house I was gonna build I started talking as if it was already gonna that it was definitely gonna happen even when it still was very uncertain that I was going to be able to make it happen and so I basically just put it out there I put it out there in the universe I gave it the best shot that I felt like I could in order for for it to manifest physically and it did end up, obviously, because I'm sitting here and this is my house, but it really had so much to do with with journaling. And I've, I've looked back before and I was going to for this video, but I don't think it really adds what I think it adds to the video. But I could go back and find the first time that I started mentioning tiny houses and all the other times that I was talking about oh my gosh this dream tiny house that I'm gonna create so I think something that's really important in order to try and manifest whatever it is that you want is finding the time to actually create that vision for yourself because if you're constantly working if you're constantly at school if you're constantly doing homework if you're constantly socializing on social media all sorts of things that's not going to give you that dream life. You need time to reflect, to think about things, and to really figure out that plan that you you really want. I know for a while I would I would fill my my free time with a lot of unnecessary social media and sooner or later like 45 minutes had passed and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I was supposed to do I was supposed to do something." And I think it's it's amazing if if everyone really thought about the amount of time that they spend on social media there's actually programs I used to have one for my computer that would tell me exact exactly where I'm spending all my time um, I don't I'm sure there's an iPhone app but honestly track yourself and see how much time you're spending because that's a huge huge issue for a lot of people including myself and a time waster honestly because you could be spending that time to visualize what it is that you really want so that's one thing and then multiple times over the past several years past I'd say four years I would make lists of like categories of things that I categories with like a description in them so one would be like 
health. So what I wanted in terms of my own personal health and how I wanted to, to feel, I guess. Another related to money. So basically it was, it's like career wise, what do I want? Um, relationships, family, money, food, health, hobbies, fitness, all sorts of things. So basically I have multiple lists that I've done at different points in my life where I've just kind of evaluated and written down very clearly what it is that I I wanted and I can look back at those lists from from before and I see either things that I've I've accomplished or things that I've realized that I actually didn't want so you have to continually kind of update that that list that those descriptions just so that it fits with your ever-changing being and what you really want and so I try to read that as often as possible and I know some of you who have watched my videos for a while have seen like vision boards and vision boards that way I'm usually facing usually have this this side to the back I still have a statement there that I used and uh, I'll just read it to you just as kind of an example and I had it to the ceiling so that when I slept I would wake up and that's the first thing I would see but this is something I created and I don't know how much I still relate to it and it's still my thing because I've created something different that I look at and read um, almost every day but this says by September 24th 2018 I will have made five hundred thousand dollars to attain this I will make my own health the biggest priority both emotionally and physically fit. With that, I will be able to make videos, programs, ebooks, another tiny house, another house to rent out, give forest walks, and own land. So I, I still relate a lot to, to that statement, um, but there's so many other things that I have added and um, different categories that I didn't really touch on. So I just can't stress enough the importance of giving yourself time and finding time for you to to reflect and figure this stuff out. I feel super lucky that I found the time in high school to reflect and figure out that I actually didn't want to go to college right now because if, if I didn't have that time I know no question I'd be at college right now and that might be totally right for some people, but it clearly was not right for me. And if I didn't have the time to figure that out, I, I, I don't know where I'd be because I'm not there. So I know this, this decision that I made, um, the opportunities that I've had in the past year and all the amazing things that are happening in the now and in the future, it's just, incredible. I never want to sound like it's egotistical or that I don't need other people to help me. I don't need other connections to assist in creating whatever it is that I want. But ultimately, it does come from within all of us. Our future and the, the experience of life that we're living each individual person lives is something that you create nobody else has control over that and so when I say it's amazing the life I created for myself it's not that nobody else had anything to do with it because so many people had everything to do with it but it's that I attracted that I kind of sent out this vibration and somehow it all came back to me amazingly um, and has created all sorts of adventures for myself but really it was it was me and it will be you creating that life all we can control is our reaction to other people and then you can control your own thoughts and your own actions and so I would just suggest kind of evaluating the beliefs that you tell yourself or or the beliefs that you just currently have about your ability and what is possible because until you work through those 
those negative limiting beliefs of oh I can't do this because I'm not old enough oh I can't do this because they don't have enough money I can't go here because my parents don't want me to you gotta work through those barriers that are holding you back before you can actually move forward and and writing these things out what you really want is a way of kind of getting working through those limiting beliefs that hopefully you will get through in order to attain what it is that you really want one other thing that I do want to mention before I end this video kind of all over the place but this is definitely the heart of the message that I wanted to communicate I think a lot of times we experience something over and over again and I don't know some people say oh that's bad luck or that's just who I am or it's just kind of how I figured my life was going to be and you just kind of accept that and so I've injured myself a lot throughout my life and I kind of was at a point where I was like well that's just kind of who I am and recently with this astrology program that I'm doing it talked about your own karma and I guess the personal the personal challenges that each of us encounter in our lives and whether we take those opportunities that it comes up usually multiple times to overcome that and really deal with it and we kind of awaken to what it really what it really is I guess it's totally changed my mind about why I keep injuring myself and it's just something to think about like if something keeps happening to you take some time to reflect and think about maybe how you could kind of challenge the system if you will test out those things that are really challenging you because maybe within that that challenge that you might be able to overcome lives your your greatest gift that thing that you can most benefit yourself and others with I guess just kind of something to think about because I've been personally thinking about it, it quite a lot lately and uh, yeah just trying to to heal whatever it is that I can heal and awaken to in this in this lifetime I I want to give myself the best opportunity to do so. Alright, I think that's all I have to share with you today. I will see you guys very soon. Who knows what type of video. I'm kind of all over the place as most of you guys probably know by now. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys soon. I hope you're having an amazing day.